a nature's profit carry so either way this is a nice new take on this patch and i'm looking forward to it yeah it feels easy to back the expect you know we've seen a lot of team fight lineups so far in the regions we've covered that's what's been winning we haven't seen anything like nigma's lineup uh being able to achieve victories so i'm also leaning towards og but excited to see uh what master plan Kuro has for this game and it should be a damn good one nigma versus og game number one strap your hype boots on and over to the catchers it will be dakota and blitz on it yeah i think uh so bounty hunter is a hero that uh has a lot of upside which is the gold it's good vision hero but i feel like him and nyx assassin kind of overlap in what they want to do i think this is going to probably be the most value necro 3 of all time uh just because he's going to look at curl and gh and i feel like if og just five man at a reasonable time which og is very very good at doing um I think they're just going to lose, and we're going to see the return of Sumail to mid lane. It's an exciting time, so it looks like 33 is going to be playing carry. Oh, yeah. Sumail versus Weeha in the mid lane. Sumail with a much better block. Forced to summon to the mid lane, just in case. I really like how Weeha's playing. He's just being very aggressive, hitting mount stop, and Kuro grabs the regen rune. Oh <laughs> I think Sumail hates him at this point. Just like, yeah. please make my life easier. No, stop they, doing this to me. They have felt totally comfortable just like leaving Miracle to his own devices for the most part in this top lane. I'm just his product. He's third in CS, you know, just behind Weeha. And where Seb currently stands. Seb with a huge amount of CS, 42 to 20 right now on that Brewmaster. Top, here we go. Blinding level. bump back from No Tail. But uh, yeah, you know, Kuro and GH. Quite pesky here. All right, sprouts out. Immediate takedown as he uses the uh, quelling blade. Oh, he and here comes Seb making his debut to the top lane. He's level six, and he says, "I got the boys here," and starts to go on a chase. Meanwhile, No Tail potentially going to be snapped down from Kuro on the back lines. He's digging for it. Well, the chase is on on the other side. Miracle now getting muscled down from the Bears. No Tail does end up falling. Miracle. Oh, the rock is there. They find the connection. The chase continues. They don't have the damage. Uh, they don't quite have enough to get the finish. They can't claim the plate. That was the Bruce split that was used. And oh. somehow, mid lane, Sumail plus the uh, addition of Soxa is going to get a kill on the Timber Saw. That's pretty massive, too. And it's going to leave the bottle on the ground. Not too bad on this Ember Spirit. Still ahead of the Beastmaster by quite a bit. Looks like all three cores are doing sort of okay on the side of uh, OG. Weeha not quite able to catch the chain as Sumail steps in. Doesn't oh, catch nice. again. The bump was there from No Tail. That was a very nice bump. And the blast comes forward. Can they stop him? Yeah. It doesn't look like it. Nice. Ah, there it goes. That was really well done by No Tail. That blinding light. Yep. Push him further away. Very, very good. Immediately going to smoke. I think they pinged that smoke. I, I, I have to this. Okay, Fox shows up. What do they do? They delta split and they hightail it out of there, but at the same moment, it's no tail going down. Way down south. And Mind Control doesn't have a DP, and that's why Seb was willing to pop his Bruce with this. Here we go. Seb's into action. Slamming on the Beastmaster here. He does commit the roar to try to make a hasty escape. I think he might be okay at this rate. Oh, he's going to get blocked by the wolves. The wolves. I thought you were on my side as Beastmaster. Nah, we have our alpha leader. And, uh, and he's good. Wow. He he popped the split so early. On the There's no TP on mind control. I feel like you could have waited a few seconds at least. Now Nigma can really kind of go unleashed for the next few minutes. Or, uh, you know, as the Seb's split was already committed, you see Nigma call to action in the mid lane, being heavy pressure on the Sumail. He will have to step off a bit. the timber, and it looks like he's going to be heading his way towards a pipe this game. 
fearing the heavy magical damage output coming from OG and needs a little bit of utility for the team. And now suddenly most of OG have congregated to the mid lane. They're making their approach, looking to go in for Weeha. They commit the Willow Whip. Sumail's here, hits it with the chains. GH around He's the corner, really trying to go for a big stun, but this is one God, on five. look how tanky this man is. That was one on five, and they popped so much to try to take him down. My goodness, can Enigma try to recoup from this in some way? I know Miracle's charging his way through the top lane, but it's GH in trouble, and he will be the plus one. Sumail's gonna pick up another kill, and look like they wanted to think about going mid and set, but again, you just see he is not afraid to pop this ult. This is very uh, OG-esque, the non-stop thirst for blood. They are they running at from them. One to one to one. Radiance middle tower is just don't even show yourself, Nigma. Wait, wait for the hastiness to come. I think they will defend this tower, though. Think about how hard it was for them to kill Weeha in the first place. Now they don't have a lot of that ammunition in the tank to work with. Weeha does step into the mid lane. Mid my control. Oh, he pops his own bag. Has the roar. If that was so the cool. They want to defend it onto Seb. They do. He commits the roar, but that's when Sumail jumps in with a nice little set of chains. And their free pops the shape shift, and they decide to run in for round number two. They're shifting GH out in the round corner. Here comes Kuro. Immediately, this Weha has to step back and assist with his ally. This 33 is just going pretty deep, and it's just a bit all over the place. The only person not here is Miracle. Still worrying about objectives else. Oh, look at Weha. He should be able to take him down. That's back. It's down four OG to mail with a wicked tick streak. We're not done yet. This is EU to at its best. My God, this is what we have waited for. They are just fighting, and no one is hitting creeps anymore. The side of uh, OG, they have decided. Enough is enough. With the DD rune and no armor stacks on that timber, uh, the last time you killed it, you have to give a lot of credit towards like Seb and Notel, who are the architects of a lot of this. This aggressive, you need to be able to fight. Uh, something that Notel preaches is you have heroes that can always fight at this point. Like that's what's going to determine Dota and his ethos for quite some time. Who is that? Is that bro? Is Get that a that guy? Get him out of here! Is that we? We might have to put this one in a different way because uh, oh, we're gonna have to do the battle, but it's the fight. Wait a minute. That was the number one. That was what we were waiting for. That was the dark horse for Nigma. I'm really and surprised. I didn't, even, I didn't even get to see him do anything. Yeah, I'm really surprised that he decided to come fight. After all this harping we've done on uh, their inability to take a fight, man. Yeah, bottom Miracle. looks pretty open. He could yeah. have been down there doing some serious work. That would have forced the five. That's what you want as a nature prophet is. You want to threaten that tier three tower. Uh, the odds are going heavily in favor of OG. Yep, walking away from Nidla and looks like Weeha, he, again, he decided to throw pipes, so he has no way to dispel this. Jeez, vessel, he just dies. He's just like, maybe I can get a little bit of push out in mid lane while they finish that Roche. And before he can even finish the thought in his mind, they're already on him. Yeah, they, they picked up what feels like stop. Oh, they do pop smoke, which means Kuro, you know, Kuro. In this instance, I imagine, is happy to be the sacrifice that means stopping what could have been a very scary potential tank. Oh, bottom, we're in trouble. 33. That was ulti. Can finish him off before the rest of the OG troops get here. He's tanky. He's got that helm of the dominator. He's got that buckler and three. We can't seem to break it. And that timber, who is supposed to be the big iron machine, falls apart like paper mache. Yeah, he really needs something to dispel that spirit vessel. And now there's so many charges on Sumail that uh, I don't even know if one basic dispel matters. It's seven charges so far. Um, regardless of who is on it. Yeah, of course, uh, Thompson and Anna and Jerax are going to be, you know, they'll always be vital to the success. Right. But they finally are going to pick up a kill on Seb. That's pretty big. But and do they actually win the team fight? That's the more important part. Very true. And as 33 muscles on They're in, picking up kills right now. They are able to scrap down the tip down. Sox is dead. Sox, the... They finally got split up. And not the fight that we're looking for. There's no roach for them to take, but... Uh, maybe they continue to look for some kills. In fact, they smoke up. Oh, she just got a little bit too over aggressive. At some point, they are going to take a fight. At 33, he's got to go back to the spider legs, and this might just cost their life because oh, of that. Oh, yeah, it just may. He has no game shift, no way out. Oh, that's so unlucky. And that is your top net worth in the game going down. 
Hey, you could see him go to the right, and he saw the spider leg back. Strong. Jump in, set up in the mid lane. He uh, actually boots a man there from no tail, which he didn't need, but Miracle is going to be able to apply to the high ground. Soon mail on the game, looking to move up get the chase down on the Miracle. And now Miracle did the UT pop. You can be right. Go for new yeah, no tail, but it's not going to happen. Yeah, BKB that entire time. He, he was going to be able to make it away and didn't anticipate Sumail's pursuit, but when OG decided to make the call, you know the boys are going to be there to take it to him. We are now forced to timber into the high ground. He is far from home. Can he somehow up from this one? We get this champ stuff. And they come to him. This is his death. Uh, and they're just going go to picking hold of that lead. Looking to steal that, uh, trying to cut that mid lane, but decided to not do that. Now he has descended into the high ground here. Glit comes out, but Seb's trying to poke away onto pier three. Here's a stun onto Smail. Oh, nice. Four staff just after the blinding light. Oh, but they've already made the catch up to go, and he is gone. DH is forced to get himself back into the safety of the fountain, but Rax is just a uh, Did you see someone over there? I saw someone there. Go! Uh, it's entertaining because it forces the enemy team to fight. Enigma uh, don't want to fight. I, I feel like this lineup would work against a lot of teams, but right now, now it's they a have struggle. The, they have the push in the mid lane, so they'll just kind of go to the bottom and get to the tier three, which falls just oh, as fast as they get in, and they quickly jump onto the GH Beetle and squish. Mail TPs to the bottom lane to deal with the pressure there. But they've already lost a rack on this side. Miracle able to wipe out both racks in that bottom lane. He will beat BTP back in. Sue Mail makes his return from the remnant. We have rock to the west, eating a lot of pressure from OG. It's 33, chopping them down the metal bits and the bit. Two from Nigma go down. They both have buyback. Are they going to have a committee? Yes, Weeha uses the buyback. Big. Not able to make them back inside. He does fall. Look at this. Going for OG going for the challenge. Look at the tier fights. They don't really care. They're ignoring him completely. They're just giving yeah, every chance. Can Miracle do it alone? I don't think so. I don't think so. OG are already got the precious ancient down to nothing. They just game number one. I'm missing my life. OG just running at people non-stop until they die. So I'm down, I'm down for this OG draft, man. I like it. It should be a damn good one as we see a 33 chat. Not only that, guys, it's a miracle anti-mage. Can he do it again? We'll have to find out as we go into game number two. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to ESL 1 LA, powered by Intel. It's game number two of OG versus Nigma, And what do we have with us here? Blitz. So a lot of classic Nigma staples, if you will. The GH Wisp in full effect. Miracle Anti-Mage. That's nice. But what the hell's happening? OG right Freaking 33 on Chen. How do the people see it? Right now, it's pretty close with a wow. slight favorite for Nigma this go round. Around. Still. So, uh, wow. Uh, your take, though. I do like their lineup. I actually think this is a pretty uh, nice anti mage game. It should be pretty hard for him to die. The amount of damage um, that they can burst him off for, like, AoE is. It's alright, but. Kind of like for an anti mage, anyways, it might be lacking. And I kind of worry about this mid lane for. 33 it's actually going to be set mid oh, they're going to yeah. switch things up I, I like this 33 is an offlaner so it makes sense but he's going to be put against weha mid uh seb i very rarely see him mid yeah i'm sure he's fine at it like i'm sure he's still a good player so he'll figure it out but not really his natural <laughs> role you know, I guess what better time than uh, now? Than right now. To uh, try to change things up or stir the pot a bit and see how things can taste. As it's just, you know, it's ESL Online, it's a league. We have lots of games ahead of us. They already have the game on Earth Shaker, which means this is going to be a core chen. So what does that mean? That means it's a fast lineup, right? Who actually is in a lot of trouble top lane. He's uh, dead. dead. Yeah. He's going to be first dead. blood. Uh, this is something that uh, Alliance used to run 
for 33 is pretty dangerous. They usually put him as like Gothling Chen. You get some creeps, you're able to fight, and then you just push at a very reasonable time. Um, yeah, not really sure what they're going for here, but it kind of fits in like the theme of the type of lineups that they like to run. Oh, of and course. Yeah. That is a really nice kill. Uh, mind control as no tail sets up a beautiful blocked fissure and with the follow up homing missile and rocket barrage i'm sure they can make quick work of the centaur mid lane seb dancing around with weha's bat rider and weha bat well versed in the mid lane as we know so he can he knows the limitations of the hero and how far he can stretch it yeah weha very good uh he plays all those weird mid heroes you know the ones that you don't really expect the Earth Spirits, the Wind Rangers, Meepos. Uh, uh, he's, you, you know, he plays Timber, Bat Rider. Like, oh, of course, a lot of people play like Timber or Bat, but it's just like Weha likes to add a little bit of flavor to the game. He, he brings his pub mentality toward his uh, professional games, which I think is really cool. And this is a guy who started meepo primarily and uh yeah the definitely forest to uh, always yeah having these intriguing pickups not usually the cookie cutter cores that everyone else is going for yeah he's always kind of thinking outside the box and willing to be a bit more flexible with his hero pool it's always nice to have that kind of specialty core player on your team and uh hey, miracle is off to an okay-ish start he's got 12 cs he's doing you act almost like a beast master that comes with a heal very, very nice. Oh, that's a, that's a good way of looking at it. And we'll see if once that Hand of God does come online, if that's going to be a call to action for OG overall. As we continue to see that mid lane flirt, same goes for bottom here. No deal, uh, no deal, <laughs> no tail. Kind of walking around a bit deep here. Happy to take it to the Wyvern. As Sumail is, you know, second in CS, only shy of where Seb is at 33 and 11. Has really had not too much pressure here. No tail has done a great job being the bouncer for the lane. Yeah, he, he's making this really annoying. Uh, it feels like this is often OG, even going back to like TI, just trying to make mind control the game as hard as possible. Well, you say that, but it could be just said the same on to Weeha. It's like the pressure they've already added on to Weeha. Maybe a lot of credit to, to No Tail on just flipping around between bottom and mid lane. Now bottom, they make their move forward with a nicely planted fissure. There's the full rocket barrage coming out from Sumail. They need just a few more hits. Can No Tail get the job? Looking to move in with that big bad lung. Can he smack it? Oh no! Come to the short GH now. Steps in as the paramedic. Oh, Might have actually got him, but killed. there is just too much burst. And you're right with the cold embrace locking him in that. He is going to certainly go down. No tail. Will he fall for this? Yeah, I think that Cold Embrace uh, got MC kill. GH wants it. GH wants it. He's not going to get it. So well. Pops the balloon. And oh, the man. I, I really think if he did use that there, he was able to just run away. He was ahead of the gyrocopter, and uh, Ursh was out of mana. We're going to take a quick look. What just happened there, but I'm pretty sure that would have led to uh, mind control being all right. As we're gonna do the dive, they get under the tower. Doing all right, when it comes to the net worth department, now only 600 gold. At one point, he was like eight. We're gonna see a rotation, in fact, from Seb. The first centaur stun comes out. Uh, he's waiting for the blink, and he's found the angle. He wants to get the duel off. He's getting really close, but now he's in tower range. He's actually gonna wait it out. Gets it now. I don't think GH can offer nearly enough sustain to bail him out of that one with Seb locking him in place. That Chen safe lane, you already know, it's terrifying. And, uh, you know, with Seb kind of going in the dark, they didn't make the call that he could possibly be heading to that top lane while we see bottom potential trouble. Mind control under the tech or the OG onslaught continues. More kills for them. And I really didn't think that they would uh, have the potential to get a lot this many kills. All right. Uh, Oh, rotation. They know he already He's used gone. the lasso. Miracle can't get close enough. Creeps will die, though, for this. Uh, which is not the worst thing in the world, but they really wanted a kill. Nice. 
to have when the fight really start coming together i'm seeing a rotation from og to come to this bottom lane one now another that's going to be four og members looking to secure this bottom tier one and take full control of this bottom jungle they already have the obstacles planted they're already got the call the duel's already back up and they're going for the big bad boy and they got it yeah, i think at the damage no but they get the tower too Certainly. Uh, they come across Seb. Seb just kind of egging him on a bit. And now No Tail shows up. And it got a bit awkward for Nigma. They were not expecting OG to be already so hostile in their territory. But they are here. They have claimed this territory at their own. Yeah. Uh, don't forget what team this is that you're playing against. Oh. These are the guys that will make this play. You can expect to just run into one hero, but you're going to find four. Yeah, they know they have the numbers on you, or at least ha will have an even match. Miracle's not coming. Miracle's top lane. Miracle is, and he's not with him. So he's not going to be here. Now they charge in hard. Look at it for Sid. Pull a bump back. Echo, not the most effective. Shakes up my control a little bit, but they are going to easily trigger it off and take no-tail down. The follow-up kill on the seven is there. Let's go ahead and try to make it a full trispecta. Nice move. Moving in for some mail. Here we go, the side. So trying his best, sucks the life and takes my control down. Kill Soxa too. Still cost Sumail's life. They'll get Soxa potentially on top of it. This is a big boost of morale for Nimba. Still one hit. And you know, Sumail unfortunately ends up being a bit of a bystander. I a hasty retreat. You know, Soxa credit them. Somehow life sucks his way. Finds a way to escape out from trouble. But here we go. Just as we return from the replay, it's That's OG damage. back. Move. And Seb gets a little bit more damage in the pocket. And somehow this anti is not uh, highest net worth right now. I figured it would be, but unfortunately he's not. Doesn't really have the best game. They're looking to go for no tail. Step in from my control. And there's Miracle. He's trying to get that fourth lead back with that pop right there. Seb is getting further from his team. Oh no. Pulled from the pack and now he gets separated in further. Soxa. After he's on the Weeha trying to slow him down, but then Curl responds with the ulti. Locks them both in spot. Surprisingly, Soxa not eating a whole lot of damage there from Seb. And now it can be mind control in a bit of trouble. He's able to get off the stun, but they quickly isolate him and look to take him down. He does manage to take a cute little fire kill along the way, but as you mentioned, Weeha, all those peeps, falls 32 too. came in. With those brothers. Oh my goodness, they're so big and bad and buff. Look at him. He wants the duo. He's going to get it easily. Damn. I'm going to grab a mid tower for it. And all of a sudden, it looked like the game was okay for Dingwa after they got those three kills. And it got down to a 1k gold lead. Uh, it's just been bumped up to five. So you need to start feeding him cut this bottom wave as all the set are. Oh, this is a lot of creeps. You do manage to quickly take out the Chen with a nice ult there from Kuro. The creeps also bump up the tip. The gun only assist in finishing off my control there. Seb moves in, tries to go for the dual finish, but there is a pullback from GH doing what he does best. Tier 3 is already fallen. Soon mailed trying to clean out. This is out of flat cannon. And the weapon hits on the way back. Oh, GH will pop. He's down and out. And way back. Got to be there for him. And they go back on the assault. They get the finish up for back. Now, mind you, Miracle still farming over on the sub. And they're looking to participate in this. Or just probably accepting that they will lose this set of racks and prepare for later rounds. Yeah, that's a 17-minute racks that they've just taken. Uh, they did lose the chin for it. So no chin ulti deal or anything like that. It does have the pipe. And I'm not really sure how it can be Weeha as well, but anticipate that move coming. I just don't think they expected OG to go high ground. But that's what has to happen at this point. Somebody has to be cutting waves. Moves being made, potentially by Nigma. Oh, OG, look at the clash. They flank the side. The stun's it. Big ult, though, from Kuro. Does manage to isolate and take. It will cost him his own life. Then a follow-up takedown is going to be there onto Weeha. OG, punch Nigma back and kick him out of the jungle. Oh, that, uh, the curse almost always leads to a kill in a game like this. It's, there's so many creeps, there's so many things, uh, but it doesn't really matter because the overall team by Sep always finding somebody with the jump, and he's trying to just find either the Wyvern or the Io, and he's been very successful in doing so. Now they can pick up a Roche, and Miracle, who's not quite ready to fight, just the Manta back. He's still going to be gone for about 25 seconds. Yeah, he peed in. But we may never see this anti-mage get to play. Shortly that was in OG. 
Brett onto the racks now. Pigma forced to already dig deep. Weeha has the lasso. All he has is a BKB flying. And that obviously is not going to lead to a lot. Code. Another duels there. Insta snipe of Kuro. Forced to take flight and find a safe path. All right, back to the fountain. Minute, uh, Mega Creeps. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OG still, uh, they still got it. They still got it. Oh. I guess it doesn't matter who they play with. It's just, just going to work out. Uh, this is going to be Megas at 22. I, I don't think that uh, Nigma can recover from this. Wow. Yeah, they're going to call it. What an emphatic opener in this league for OG. They come in, they take two games, they make us wait a little bit, more, and it takes no time at all to get the series done. This was a statement game. This was them saying, 